Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Uh, today we're going to try something I'm kind of excited to try. Um, we're going to do some heat transfer vinyl on a WeCreate Vista machine. Um, just a little background, I've used a Cricut before for many years and then I went to a commercial machine to do stuff with it, lettering and stuff like that. Um, I've always wanted to do um, some smaller stuff um, and with using a knife blade it's not as convenient to get as small as I want. Um, so I'm hoping the laser comes through um, for that. Um, but since I've not done much with it, I'm going to try something pretty basic today just to get the methodology down. And um, so I'm going to switch over to the computer. Uh, I'll do a couple things uh, on it and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so here we are in Make It. And I've got an image drawn up, it's just a JPEG. Um, I need to modify it. Um, to cut it out. Um, for example, I'm going to just hit edit, edit image, click the wand, and get rid of all the background. Okay, hit confirm. Now, if I just wanted to cut around the outside of it, I can use edit image, um, but I want to get the centers out here as well. So I'm going to hit sketch, and you play around with these numbers and you can get what you want. But if you look, Right now, the yellow lines is pretty good. That's where I would kind of want it. So I'm going to hit confirm. Then I'm going to separate the two of them. I can dump the image because I'm not going to engrave on the vinyl. I'm going to cut the vinyl. And here's my Eagle Globe and Anchor. I'm going to hit cut. And for settings on this, um, they suggest uh, for thin thinner heat transfer vinyl, 100. 30. So we got cut. I got 100 there. I've got 30 here. Um, I'm going to put um, for thickness, I'm going to put 1. And then I'm going to go put a piece on the machine. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my vinyl on the machine. I got my image size the size I want it and I've got it placed where I want it. Um, then I'm going to head and I'm going to hit start and I'm going to cut it. We'll see what I get. Okay, here's my image cut out on the material. Um, just a few things on the vinyl itself. Um, the, the vinyl has to be laser safe. This is PS or CPSIA compliant lead free, falminates free, and PVC free. Uh, you don't want to do anything that has PVC in it because um, it's dangerous. Um, this stuff uh, came from WeCreate. There may be secondary vendors out there, I don't know. Um, but this WeCreate stuff seems to be working pretty good. Um, it comes with its own carrier, so there's no masking anything off. Um, you do have to do weeding on it like you do uh, normal vinyl. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, do this one real quick and I'll be right back at you. Okay, here it is weeded. Uh, it's ready to go. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it on camera. Uh, but you just lay this on your material. Hit it with a hot iron. And it'll transfer over. Do it right on top of the plastic piece here. Okay, and basically what I did, I laid the shirt out, I hit it with iron to make everything flat, I put the heat transfer on top of it, I applied heat to it for a little while, and then uh, peeled it off, and there it is. There's the finished product. Uh, I think I like this. I'm going to keep playing with it and see what all can be done. But, hey, first time out. Well, this was the first time out. This is the second time out. Um, not bad results.